On any given Sunday, these Christian nudists worship together. Alan Parker conducts the service at the Whitetails Naturist Resort in Virginia. We do it at services for weddings. We do it for funerals. That's just about love, right? It's things that we see every day, whether we're bringing you in the world or taking you out. This is the chapter we always look to. God made us this way. God knows what we look like outside of our clothes. He made some thin. He made some fat. This is the creation he said not only was good, but was very good. For many churchgoers, this is a disturbing image that mars the sanctity of worship. For some, it borders on blasphemy. Both interact with love. Okay, love never fails. What I do know is that whether you're clothed or naked in a church, you're there for God. What we wear is irrelevant. Alan is not alone in his naked faith. If I stand up here and I said, I am the leader of this big, huge group, what am I doing? 65% of nudists claim to be Christian. I'm boasting. Am I telling the truth? There are approximately 50,000 naturists in the United States. By Alan's count, around 32,000 of them are Christians. But only a few take their nakedness to church. According to Alan, nothing in the Bible says nudity is a bad thing. There's a passage that says, be of modest dress. They're talking about not costly array, not expensive dresses, not expensive jewelry. Well, I guess you could say we're probably the least expensive dressed people in a church. I can remember the first time I prayed when I was naked and I got that touch. And I don't have to describe it. It really wasn't a physical touch, but it was something I could feel in my soul that I was much closer to God than I'd ever been. 